What is up, guys? I've not posted a video in a minute. Um, it's my day off this morning. I am working on making a Rana Tomea grow out tub. Um, I have my one Vanzellini, which is currently in this small shoebox. I've got two more on the way. Um, so I'm going to make something a little bigger because uh, those in the imitator veradero are probably going to start reproducing soon ish so i want to have something a little bigger to for my grow outs <coughs> um, at the moment I'm boiling some magnolia leaves um, just to to cover it and so I'll, I'll show you sort of my grand plan as we go here so for boiling uh either oak leaves or magnolia leaves simple solution is to just either find an old pot that maybe you or someone you know doesn't need anymore or if you go to Salvation Army or Goodwill you can find a bunch of these uh, and then just a cheap sort of spaghetti spatula um, so I put the leaves in here and I get the water boiling and I let them boil for anywhere between two and five minutes or so uh, just to make sure all the nasty stuff is killed and and all that so once these are done boiling I'll let them cool off and then I'll add them to the tub. Yeah, now we're cooking. <clears throat> Oddly enough, <clears throat> this magnolia smells really good when you boil it. I don't know why. Just trust me. It smells very pleasant. Just real quick in between talking about the grow out tub for Rana Tamea, for bigger species like your phyllobates, uh, your dendrobates tinctorius, or Leucomelus, erratus, whatever you want. You can do something smaller like this, uh, but since Phyllobates vitatus, which is what's in this tub, do so well communally, uh, woo, this is a 60 quart, 66 quart bin uh, that has all the layers, tons of leaves, there's a ton of frogs in here, tons of plants. Uh, so when I pull them out of my communal tadpole bin, they go over here into this, and then once they've sprouted legs and they're out of water, they then go to this tub here. Um, this has been working really well. I haven't been having any issues. Uh, Phyllobates vitatus do really well in groups anyways, so kind of comes as no surprise. But uh, yeah, I need to trim it. It's getting a little out of control. But that's a good thing because that means you know the plants are getting everything they need. Frogs are happy, and uh, yeah, this is just a, a bin with a Nikru light on it, which I really like these, they're cheap on Amazon. I did drill some holes in the top for some ventilation, I didn't want a ton, but um, I mean it's opaque, they can't really see, you can't really see inside it, but it's kind of okay because the frogs seem to appreciate that anyways, so hope it helps. Alright, so this is sort of the finished product. Uh, I still need to add isopods and springtails, especially springtails, because at this size, uh, with froglet for Rana Tamea, you definitely need smaller food items because they're so tiny. So I've got calcium clay, phyllodendra, brocosum, pothos, some margravia species, and I don't even remember what this is, but I really like it because it grows like crazy. It stays kind of flat to whatever surface it grows on. Uh, another little pothos back here, but leaf heavy. Uh, these little guys love to hide under the leaves and stuff. And uh, there's just one in here right now. I just moved them over. I got two more that are about to come out of water, so they'll go in here too. But now that uh, once I add the cleanup crew, the isopod springtails, this thing will be done. And I'll just mist it, you know, regularly. Uh, I don't like to mist daily. I kind of go every other day if I can. Let them get a little drier. But um, yeah, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Subscribe, follow me on Facebook and Instagram at Palmetto Coast Exotics, and we'll see you later.